Oh, take a look at these temperatures today. We made it up to 86 degrees and we're not going to see a very big temperature fluctuation over the next five days. It only fluctuates by about you know five degrees or so through Saturday, but then boom. Look at Sunday taking a run at 90 degrees away from the Connecticut shoreline. Then Sunday night we'll see a cold front come through and then cooler temperatures will settle in as we head into early next week, Monday and Tuesday. Cooler but not cold. I mean, even 74 degrees is near slightly above average for this time of year. And I wanted to kind of show you these temperatures right out of the gate because it is an entirely different narrative for the Connecticut shoreline. So you are watching us from the beaches and it will be noticeably cooler for the next several days today. Highs were in the lower to middle 80s, but the next several days we're talking about lower to middle 70s, although I mean, Sunday is the day that we're cooking right down to the shoreline as well. How do we do that? Well, these days, the next several, we're going to see more of a southerly component to the wind. That means the wind coming off of Long Island Sound. But on Sunday, we're going to have a northwesterly breeze, and that will keep things warmer right down to the beaches, which I am sure will be packed. So just save your spot right now. Taking a look at tonight, we're talking about low temperatures. Again, nice and comfy if you're like Jen and you want to open up the windows and let the fresh air in, a low of 49 in Willimantic, 53 in Hartford and 54 for a low temperature in the New Haven area. And tomorrow again, we're looking at low 80s for a lot of inland Connecticut, a little bit cooler up in the Northwest Hills in the upper 70s and low 70s from New Haven to Bridgeport, but only mid to upper 60s in southeastern Connecticut. Heading into your Friday, I think we'll see more clouds. We'll call it a mix of clouds and sunshine. There is a chance for a morning shower, especially in western Connecticut. I mean, a blip or two on the radar. That's about it. Otherwise, it's looking like a nice Friday with clouds breaking for some sunshine. But again, we're not going to see quite as much sun as we've had around the last couple of days. So all eyes are on the weekend forecast, right? Clearly, we've already talked about Sunday being warmer than Saturday, but neither day will be a washout. There is a chance for a shower or two during the day on Saturday, but it'll be hit or miss in nature. So some towns may get one, others may not. And that'll be the case on Sunday too during the day. There could be a shower, a thunderstorm in a few locations. It will also start to feel a little bit more humid on Sunday, so kind of feeling more like summer all the way around. Here's the radar heading into Saturday. Again, chance for a shower, maybe something more numerous at night as a warm front pushes through. And then during the day on Sunday, it'll be the afternoon that we're watching for a shower or storm as that cold front comes through. But again, both days are okay for outdoor plans and activities. Just make sure you're weather aware and you know you have a way of getting alerts just in case they come in, which would maybe are likely on Sunday. Heading into early next week, those numbers drop. We're in the 70s for Monday and Tuesday. Another shot at getting close to 90 degrees by the middle of next week, guys. It really kind of looks and feels like we've just flipped the switch and summer is here.